Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Nerd Farm. My name is Skim and you are my channel today. We're joining for another episode of Pillars of Eternity. We have uh, Skim, Skimbleton right here, the Chancer, who is kind of struggling right now on getting through everything. He is going to be maybe getting into some more trouble here. We don't know. Nonsan. Maybe he's a good guy. Maybe. Gods keep you. This man appears to be hurriedly dismantling his camp in quick, jerky movements. He looks as you approach, his expression tense and drawn. Greetings, he says, a little breathless. On your way south, is it? Uh, wild Orlands. This is special. Don't see too many of your sort along this road. Meaning no offense. Suppose you're heading into town? He wipes his brow, turning to face you. The sooner you clear these woods, the better, I think. So, can I say... Say our camera caravan was attacked. Never mind the woods. There's a stray machine. What's your hurry? I'm only passing through. Let's see. What's your hurry? Man looks down and then his hands. I mean to follow my own advice. Came out here on a hunt. Me and a friend of mine. Thought we'd bring a stag home. Eat something other than bread for once. Came upon a bear and said great monstrous thing and pearly. He didn't make it. He shakes his head. I don't know what I'll tell his wife. In any case, this forest already cost me a friend. I'm heading home before he takes anything else. Where did you find this bear? In a cave a ways up that way, he turns. I wouldn't seek it out if I were you. It was a great brute of a beast. would hate to hear that it took another life. In any case, the forest already cost me a friend. I'll be heading home before he takes any anything else. Who are you? Name's Nantan, born and raised in Gilded Vale. Haven't, haven't had a spot of luck since. His face twists. Luckier than Pearly, I suppose. He got eaten by Dorette, right? We didn't see it coming. We were following a stag. Uh, Pearl poorly didn't stand a chance. The bear was on top of him before he knew what was happening. Farewell. The beast will take what it wants, I suppose. Well, maybe we'll go ahead and see about that. Ah! There's goodies here I almost missed. Grass is so flat beneath the wagon wheels. Barrel of cabbage and potatoes and squash have been overturned and abandoned. More for me than... I do think I want to sleep, to be honest. Word. Hey, too late. Alrighty. Yeah, it didn't seem too hard. Beat him up pretty quick. Then we're gonna camp out, I think. Come on. Kill the guy. Beautiful, wonderful, fantastic. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. Let's no take problem. Take his goodies if he has anything. All right, and then let us camp the night, I suppose. Yes, we shall rest. I need something. Ah, a dream sequence. Let's check it out. Well, I am awake. I am healthy and ready to go. Much better. Much happier now. A few muddy vegetables. Muddy vegetables are still vegetables as far as I'm concerned. Can I not loot it? I suppose not. Let's keep exploring. I like exploring. What's our map look like? We've been along this way. That's south. Could go a little bit more south exploring too, but we'll go up north. For now, check everything out. Oh, I don't think I wanted to go there. This character makes choice in conversation and quests. Where is this? Ah! The bear's cave. Would he build on the You guys ready for this? I'm ready for this. Take it on the bear. Oh! Is he, is he like one shot me basically? What happens when I run out of endurance? All right, they're knocked out. Interesting. <laughs> the watcher has died. All right, load. <laughs> A lesson learned, I think. We're not ready for him. We are not ready for the bear. Way too much damage. Even I think that if we had all of our skeletons up, I don't know if we would have been able to take him on. Two per rest. Restores a moderate amount of endurance to where each time it is used. I don't know if I, if that would have helped me. 
Where does this go? World map. You know what? Do you want? Should we try again? Should we try again, maybe, and use this? Ah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I want to. I want to. Ah. <sighs> Give it a shot. Let's go. Let's go. What? I got one shotted. Yeah, we're not gonna do that again. Interesting. I figured that maybe sure. with uh, using those guys that I got over the rest, maybe I'd be able to live long enough to get the skeleton spawn. But I suppose not. That was a fail. A fail if I ever saw one. So not there is what we learned from this. Not ready to take on the beast in the cave. I actually think I have pretty good endurance too. But just not good enough. So remember correctly, where, is there anywhere else over here we need to be? No, let's say I hit the, uh, the edge of the map on all those areas, so. We're gonna get ready to head out, I think. Into the city. Let's go. Get the veil. Eight hours. See, yeah, I'll take the eight hour journey. All attacks resist by one of four defenses deflection, fortitude, reflex, or will. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. If an enemy is powerful against one type, try an attack that is different with another. I should get bitter at that, I feel. Ah, we are here in the Gilded Veil. After having been one shot at twice. And as I feared, the hanging tree. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. I feel at home already. Do you welcome everyone this way? The only answer you hear is the buzzing of replies. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. He Have praised you ever you. sired a hollowborn child? A hollowborn child? What are you talking An about? An infant born without a soul, of course. Lord Radric... I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. Point his through the tree. His wife is with child and do any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an animancer. However, the only animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. And he points to a body hanging from the tree. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's important that everyone in Gild Gilded Val understands our rules. Okay, the foreigners don't have this curse in your homeland. So, hollowborn have been a scourge upon the dry wood for almost 15 years now. Children born without souls. Gingers? No. Uh, <laughs> Shake said, pitiful, dumb things that breathe, barely, but do not truly live. Some say they are a disease, some say they are punished from the gods. In truth, no one knows, but they begin spreading after the saints' war, and so the name Wade, Wade Wind's legacy stuck in honor of that foul, blasphemous pretender. His voice shakes with vitriol. Lord Roderick's decrees may seem strict at times, but he has our best interests at heart. I'm not going to tell him about Keep the ceremony. Of. Keep out of... Listen! Two tolls. 
Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Why is that? Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. A peculiar... You tread carefully. Hmm. Circumstances have changed a great deal. Hmm. I, I want to say this. But I am a little man. Don't threat me, little man, says the little man. It is no threat, only a warning. Lord Redrick will tolerate no threats to his kin or those who live upon his lands. Grief will not make him more docile. This affect his uh, thing. I can be sure of nothing. I advise you get some rest. The inn or a stable for all I care. Find me afterwards. I will know more soon enough. Interesting. Perhaps over here I can find... I was actually hoping to loot something off the body, to be honest. I don't see anything as being lootable over here. I cannot speak with you, it seems. Let's get the map up. You want to find the inn. Wasn't there also words of, is there a bakery or something? Smell tree, windmill, house. Alright, why don't we go to the, why don't we go to the inn then? Things are bound to get worse now. A lot, a lot. You see four people gathered by the door of the inn. They raise voices and chopping gestures suggest an argument reaching its climax. The first figure raises his hand for calm. His face is partially obscured by a hood, but his height and stature suggest an elf. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. What's going on? Say nothing. Everyone calm down. Whatever this about, I'm sure it's an overreaction. Ooh, a fight. Everyone calm down. Glares the hood elf, his eyes red. We're humble folks, but we're no fools. Not like he thinks. Mocking us while he shelters in our village. We don't take that kind of talk from foreigners. Especially not Adrian's. Go on. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fy, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! I'll cut that barrel looking tongue out of your head. I don't worry, his voice changed. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say... Whatever it is you think I said, we've nigh quarrel. Something surely raw flickers through his eyes. That's where you're wrong. The Alvin woman draws a blade. Wouldn't you rather be in inside drinking than out here arguing? Sounds suspicious like you're defending him. Would he be ah, I guess I picked a side. I was trying not to, although I think I, I probably would rather him anyway, to be honest. I just one shot you. Yep. Yeah. Smacked in the face of my mallet. Tension was gone from his smooth not face. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. You mean for slaughtering them, you're welcome. Well, that is one way of putting it. Strains his hood and notes the remains of fraying embroidery on his gloves. His boots are caked with dirt of many months' travel, but the leatherwork beneath is sturdy and fine. I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Alof Corvisor, at your service. You'd better have more to say for yourself than that. Please, I didn't mean to drag I'm you into this. I'm a wizard this. by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. 
And both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And he came to this piece of junk. And how exactly did you come to be here? Just traveling with the caravan, we were separated near some ruins. ruins. Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? What should I say? By a You survived? I've heard such a thing was impossible. But it seems you either have a knack for timing or the favor of the gods. So did you manage I'm to cross these drunks? I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. You did tell one man to go F his sister. But they try to tell him they misheard me. It happens all too easily after a few pints. And the accent doesn't help. I heard the same thing. For just a moment, he seems as if he's going to say something else. The expression brightens with mischief, but before he can speak, he forces a tight smile, biting his lips so hard you expect to see blood. Finally, his face relaxes and he shakes his head. I should speak more clearly next time. My apologies. What are you Excellent doing? question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. And you? I am looking for an expert on Indeed. souls. The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. Yes, the tree in the center of the town. His darting glance takes in the tumble-down buildings of fallow rock strewn fields. I expect such expertise would be best sought elsewhere. You don't exactly look Letting like a settler. Pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. So do I. Excellent. Let's go then. I shall follow you. Excited to get a mage eh? in anyway, so I was really actually kind of happy when I heard when he said mage. Like, yeah. So we have some goodies and some golden stuff. Sure. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please have a like, comment, subscribe, all our great awesome fun stuff. You know I really do appreciate it. Uh, these, this is going to continue. I really am enjoying this game. We have a lot more to learn. I have a lot more to learn. Hopefully you guys can help. If you have any suggestions, stuff like that, leave them in the comments below. As always, peace out.